Putin has a message to Ukraine. Pay your bills or we're turning off the gas supplies. It's the latest chapter in the crisis over the annexation of Crimea and the upheaval in Ukraine. WSJ's Lucas Alpert has the details and joins us now. Lucas, thank you very much for joining us today. Sure. Uh, Lucas, let's uh, <clears throat> let's go through this. It's Gazprom, which is a state-run gas company, um, is owed quite a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, uh, they say that uh, Ukraine is uh, $2.2 billion behind on its uh, gas bill, um, and they're demanding payment. I mean, this is, uh, you know, there's a political component to this, of course, because of the situation and the tensions between the two countries right now. But uh, basically what uh, Gazprom is saying is that, you know, if you don't pay up now, uh, we may demand advance payments or, you know, in a worst case scenario, we may just pull, you know, shut off the spigot completely. So, um, you know, it's adding a lot of pressure to the situation economically. And th now the, the good news, I guess, for Ukraine is that even if they don't pay, this is a good time of year not to get gas because you, you know, it, it's we're going into the spring and then the summer. It's not like the winter. And, and that in some ways is good. Do, do we expect this to resolve itself in a, in a fairly easy way? I know that Europe relies on, on gas from Russia and particularly needs it in the winter, including my home country. Well, yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, I, it's kind of unclear. I mean, this is, you know, the, clearly there's some uh, brinksmanship going on here. And yeah, I mean, the time of, time of the year sort of takes some of the immediacy uh, off the table. And, and in fact, actually, uh, they, you know, uh, Gazprom has been raising their price. They say that now whether they're going to raise the price 81 percent because of some uh, contract negotiation that they feel, uh, you know, has been nullified by the uh, annexation of Crimea. So, uh, and Ukraine says, look, we're just not going to pay that. So, um, at the moment, they're 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 not taking any gas. Um, so, and they don't, you know, it's April, so it's not really so urgent. Um, and the, the, and Lucas, let me back up there because um, one of the things was there were discounts because of a rental agreement for the Crimean base of Russia's Black Sea fleet. Um, that obviously uh, that's now part of Russia, uh, or at least R Russia thinks it is, and so no no discount. That's that's the long and the short of that situation, isn't it? Exactly, and they've also uh, you know yeah. said well we have to raise the price additionally because you're not paying your bills. So sort of a double whammy here uh, on, in that regard. Um, and in, in terms of, you know, for Europe's issue, I mean, it's not like gas will no longer continue to transit through Ukraine. Uh, Russia just warns that, you know, Ukraine, there's, it runs the risk that Ukraine might siphon gas and that could disrupt supply. So they're trying to, you know, kind of bring Europe into this uh, negotiation and tell them that, you know, that there, there may be consequences for them if it's not responsive. OK, well, Europe certainly has lots of money, so uh, maybe they can uh, bail out Ukraine. We, we shall see what happens. Thank you very much. Lucas Alpert of The Wall Street Journal. We appreciate your time, sir.